morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever the case may be, we are back. And better than ever, here she comes indeed, and yes, she has been on my mind forever, and that would be the calculus. I know you love the calculus, so let's get right to it, shall we? All right, so uh, show that the equation to the uh, equation of the tangent to y equals the natural log of x at the point where y equals negative 1 is y equals ex minus 2. So, really, they're saying find the equation of the tangent. Remember, the tangent is a line, boys and girls, so we're just finding the equation of a line a specific line, the tangent line, find the equation of the tangent to the natural log of x, where y equals negative 1. Okay. Now, we're used to getting x. We're used to getting x, um, uh, but this time they'll give us y, and you'll see y <laughs> in just a second. Um, okay, so... In order to find the equation of a line, or one way to find the equation of a line, is to get a point on the line, point on line, not on line, but on the line, on, the, you get it, point on the line, and the, the, uh, the slope, oh, if only there was some way to find the slope, uh, I think we remembered. The derivative gives us the slope of the tangent to the curve. Before we do any of that, um, we have to find the value of x, because the derivative gives us the slope of the tangent to the curve um, at the specified value of x. So, for y equals the natural log of x, we know that y is equal to negative 1. So the question is, what is x? So we just do some substitution. Negative 1 equals the natural log of x. And we are going to uh, write this in exponential form. Natural log has base e. So that means that, I always think of this as just like a circular thing, e to the negative 1 is equal to x. So I got my x coordinate, boys and girls. And I can write that as 1 over e. Nice! Equals x. So my point on the line, and my point about this particular question is I have uh, 1 over e x. So now we're finding the equation of the tangent to the natural log of x at the point 1 over e comma, not x, I'm an idiot, negative 1, 1 over e negative 1. So now I have to find the slope for this value of x. Well, to find the slope, I have to take the derivative of the original function. So the original function is the natural log of x. I take the derivative of that. That's equal to 1 over x. So I find y prime of the x value I'm interested in, and that would be 1 over e. So that would be 1 over 1 over e, uh, which is equal to e, boys and girls. So now I have my point, and I have my slope, or gradient. And so I'm going to slap that puppy into um, point-slope form. y minus y1 is equal to m times x minus x1. So y minus y1, so that's going to turn into y minus a negative 1 is equal to my slope e times x uh, minus 1 over e, okay? And technically I'm done, but they're asking us to get it in this particular form, so that's exactly what we're going to do. So I get y plus 1, distributing my e, I get ex minus 1, right? e times x is ex, e times 1 over e, the e's cancel, so we are left with 1. Add 1 to bo both sides, or subtract 1, I should say, and y equals ex minus 2. Booyah! As required. That all you got, Australia? Huh? That all you got? We, we chew these up, we spit them out, because we are mathematics, international baccalaureate, standard level, 
year two. That is it. Let's check back in with Nelson. Still see if they're in love with the calculus. I think they are. Hope you enjoyed it. I am out. <laughs>